doing most of the work on the EF as he cut his hand. Severed two tendons in the side of my wrist about two weeks ago. Um, sharp bit of metal over here on an exhaust. So I have another four weeks with this before I can actually get in there and start doing stuff. So in the meantime, he's telling me everything to do. As he's more mechanically minded, I'm still learning. But I'm jumping in and doing most of the work. So, yeah. 1995 Ford Falcon EF as a burnout car. Um, Vanned out the gearboxes. Absolutely gone. So yeah, really gearbox is a bit tired. It's got park, park, and the rest of the gears are drive. So today we are dropping the rest of the gearbox. We started last week. We have the other we gearbox. Have the transmission just here. Ready to go in. Needs a bit of a clean. Already had a new filter and gasket put in it. Just another four speed auto, obviously. So now we're about to lower the box down. Didn't record this because we were both working on it. Tail shaft was a bit annoying to got it get out, but absolute pain. We got it. Box is fully dropped. Now we can roll it out and roll the other one under. Um, got to jack the car up a little more as we can't get the box out. So after wrestling with it for 20 minutes, the gearbox is out. We may have a look over it and see why it only had park and drive but for now we're just gonna put the other one in. Well, after another little wrestle the new box is under there sitting on a jack. Just doing the cross member bolts up, um, tranny lines are in. Just gotta do the plugs up on this side for the loom and the rest of the barrel housing bolts and we'll be done. And the gear shift linkage and tail shaft. The other box has been bolted up with two bolts. Just re-topping the transmission oil up after filling it up earlier. Let it run, go through. Ready? Yep. Wow. Very black. A gem screwdriver in it because it was so tight. Going to get an exhaust off another Falcon. So we just went and picked up a new exhaust, as you've seen.
go down to Tire Power or a local tire shop and see if we can get some tires put on some rims. Out there. Down the tiniest bit. Yeah. to Bob Jane now to get these tyres put on the rims. We're here. Literally two minute drive. <laughs> Coming to pick up the tyres that we dropped off two hours ago. Just picked up the tyres from Bob Jane, now we're going to head out and put them on the skid car, put some more on the back and hopefully take it for a drive and see how she goes. Should be good don't you think? Fuck yeah. We're going to put the rims we put the tyres, we put all the rims on the front, so we have a good set. Just to set a stop here so whatever we can take it over. There we go. Nissan wheels for the front, I'm not sure what model they came off. Pretty sure it's a Le Mans 31. Yeah, pretty sure it's a Skyline of some sort, but we're not quite sure. <laughs> uh, that was a nice Tory. So we went to Super Cheap Auto before. Got an exhaust manifold, oh, exhaust gasket, zip tyres, brake fluid, and a paint pen. And I brought goo so we can goo the exhaust. That should be everything we need. That Falcon should skid hard. Look at that meanie. And those meanies. We got that new exhaust yesterday. We had to go and get a gasket. There's a little bit of a leak right there. So we found one of the last two missing manifold bolts, just sending it in now. It's tight, it's tight. Whether it's torqued to spec or cross threaded. Yeah, I think she might be cross threaded boys. <laughs> definitely making a new thread that's for sure. Oh well, just leave her like that. Should be right. You just snapped that. No, nah, it's in there. Ooh. Go back out. <laughs> oh no, you slipped on the socket, don't worry. Yeah, now you fucked me up. <laughs> just gonna bleed the brakes, because, you know, since we're only our front ones, we want them to be good at least. Since she's fucking low too. Oh, 
I got one more because that's fucking still pretty dirty. Yeah, we'll see how, we'll record the other side and show you how loose they are. So, I drove this car about 20 k's home when we got it. Those wheel nuts were barely even tight on that. Yeah, tight this is. Oh, that was pretty tight. Actually, not really. This side's a bit tighter. Still low. That's no effort. So, we didn't exactly try and put the, the wheel on before we got the tyre for it. Silly us. Hub's a bit too big on that wheel, so we're going to try and put them on the back. Yeah, as we thought, they fit on the back. So, we're going to see if we can change the tyres to those rims. Oh, you do a mono, bruh! Do a mono! No monos for the dominoes, boy. Obviously, he doesn't want to show us up. <laughs> About to put the wheels on. Chuck these ones on the back. That one's going on the front on the other side because it's the only other 2i5 we've got to make the front end even. And going for a skid. Quick, 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 give us a go. What do you Shit 
nearly popped them. That one might have a slow leak. The meanie. It's a rubber on the ground. Yeah, that's fucking sick. So those are the skid marks. We've just gone and left in the Falcon. This is this kid here driving. Not a bad job. Not yeah. a bad job at all. First ever proper tip in or proper that's not a shed skid. So pretty happy. It was very good. I was surprised. But tyres need to last a bit longer. I think those ones have sat in the sun for 12 months at least, maybe. But um, yeah, had a good time. Got stockies in the back to try and get more tyres for it. And finally yeah. got the skid, happy as. Yeah, finally got the skidded after probably a month and a half, two months. So it's been good. 